Napoli are in blazing form this season. They're top of the Serie A table and still unbeaten in the league. They've topped their Champions League group, embarrassing European giants like Liverpool and Ajax 4-1 and 6-1 respectively on the way. They really look like an amazing side this season and much of that is thanks to their new boy, a certain 21-year-old with a tongue twister for a name, Vicha Gvaratskela. Vicha Gvaratskela? Kavicha Kavaratskela? Try saying that name out loud five times and tell us how you do. Kavicha Kavaratskela. Shkela. Anyway, this lad from Georgia burst onto the scene this season after making a move from Georgia to Naples in the summer. Now, we want to really get to know him. Here are eight things you probably didn't know about Kavicha Kavicha Kavaratskela. Number one, Kavaradona. Now here's the first thing you need to know about this lad. This alone shows you the type of start he's had since moving to Italy. If you know anything about Napoli and their fans, you'd know they don't joke with Diego Maradona. They named their stadium after him and made several versions of jerseys with his face on the shirt. He's a forever legend at that club, a god if you like. But here comes a skinny little 21 year old who's only been at the club a few months and he's already drawing comparison with the hand of God himself. Not Insigne, not Mertens, not even the Argentine Higuain, Kavaric Kaila. And this isn't the media's doing, it's the Napoli faithful themselves. The fans dubbed him Kavaradona, and we'll just have to wait and see if he'll actually live up to that name at this club. But being the first player in Napoli's history to score three goals in the two opening league games is surely a good start. Meanwhile, this same dude has also drawn comparisons with the other Argentinian football god. Number two. Georgian Messi, who idolizes CR7. Kvaric Gaila has been dubbed the Georgian Messi by fans and journalists, and you only have to watch him play to understand why they call him that. But despite those comparisons, is the PSG man's eternal rival that the Napoli winger idolizes. He loves Ronaldo so much that he wanted to wear the number 7 shirt at Napoli. But since 7 was already taken, he decided to wear 77. He didn't want to be so far from his idol's number. With Ronaldo currently being linked with Napoli, there's a slim chance that Kvaric Gaila will play in the same team with his idol. That would be such a dream come true for the youngster if it happens. Number 3. He's from a footballing family. Kvitja was born in Georgia to a former professional footballer, Badri Kvaratskhaila. Badri played for the football club Azerbaijan and Georgia and he represented the Georgia national team. Kvitja's younger brother, Tornike, also plays football. He's still only 12 though, so watch out for him. Number 4. He had to leave Russia after the invasion. In 2019, Kvaric Gaila moved to Russia, first on a loan deal to Lokomotiv Moscow and then on a permanent deal to Ruben Kazan that same year. All was going well at Ruben Kazan until earlier this year when Russia invaded Ukraine. Following the invasion, FIFA announced that foreign players playing for Russian clubs were allowed to suspend their contracts and sign with new clubs. Kvaric Gaila immediately suspended his contract with Ruben Kazan on the 24th of March 2020 and went back to Georgia to play with Dinamo Batumi until the summer when Napoli snatched him up. But before Ruben Kazan lost him in that way, another Russian club lost this gem in a way that made the manager shed tears. Number 5. Lokomotiv Moscow manager cried after losing him. Kvaric Gaila joined Lokomotiv Moscow in February 2019 on a five-month loan. And although he played just 10 minutes for the club, the coach, Yuri Semin, could see that the boy was incredibly talented and wanted to retain him permanently by all means. But all his efforts proved futile, as Lokomotiv Moscow announced in July that the winger had left the club following the expiration of his loan deal. Semin was so frustrated about losing Kvaric Gaila, he said, Losing that extremely talented boy made me cry. Number 6. Love is life so yeah, we told you that the Napoli fans called him Kvaradona. But what we didn't tell you is that the youngster earned that name even before he kicked the ball for the Italian giants. So during his initiation after signing with the club, Varic Gaila performed the famous song by Opus, Love Is Life. That song is so popular on its own, but it was made even more famous when Maradona vibed to it on the pitch before a UEFA Cup semi-final game between Napoli and Bayern Munich in 1989. With 70,000 people in the stadium and the song Love Is Life blasting from the speakers, 
the Bayern and Napoli players ran out to the pitch to warm up briefly before the game. Everybody's warming up normally, then there's Maradona, just vibing and moving to the rhythm of the song. Then boom, he picks up the ball and starts juggling, enjoying himself and entertaining the entire crowd. Even the Bayern players stop their warm-up to watch the Argentinian do his thing with the ball, according to Jurgen Klinsmann. That show he put up had an insane effect on the Napoli fans and the whole of Italy. Now, one other thing the famous warm-up did was tie Maradona and that song together for life. So, you sing that song in Naples anytime and they'll take it as a tribute to the great Argentinian. Kvaric Skyler, a boy from Georgia who wasn't even born until 12 years after the famous warm-up, then performs that song in his initiation ceremony after signing for Napoli. Of course, that was always going to endear him to the home fans. Perhaps that was the day the Georgian got his nickname. Number 7. He's a highly sought-after talent. Of course, after his display since joining Napoli, 18 goal contributions in just 17 appearances, you expect that many big clubs around Europe will start knocking the door for his signature. Already he's been linked with the likes of Chelsea and Man City, and we expect a few more clubs to join the race before summer. But here's the thing. A few clubs had already recognized his talent and have wanted him since. Arsenal, Milan and particularly Spurs all had their eyes on him before Napoli snatched him up for just 10 million euros. An insane bargain, isn't it? But Spurs seem the most frustrated by that move as they've had their eyes on Kovaric Skyler since 2021. Number 8. Long Distance Relationship Kvaric Skyler is in a relationship with a Georgian girl, but his girlfriend refused to move with him from Georgia to Italy. Most of the time, when footballers get a big contract with a big club, their partners move with them to the new city. But Kvaric Skyler's girlfriend has decided to stay back in Georgia. Perhaps she's there because of her studies. She's currently studying medicine in Georgia. And you know, that's not a career you just give up, not even if you have a footballer boyfriend. Maybe she'll join him in Italy after she completes her degree. Anyway, those are eight things you probably never knew about Kvaric Kvaritschkaila. Now, we want you to try say his name five times really fast and sincerely tell us how you do in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!